Hi, I'm Randy Golden from Medical Technologies of Georgia and I'm here today to introduce everybody to our new MTG hydrophilic coated intermittent catheters. So let's take a look at what's inside each package. We have the catheter, the blue no touch sleeve and the water sachet all packaged in a neat and completely sterile sleeve. Upon flipping the package over, you want to verify French size, length, and tip style are as prescribed by your doctor. MTG hydrophilic catheters are offered in French sizes 8 through 16. We also offer male and female length, straight or coude tip, and for users with sensation, we offer a new soft vinyl catheter that's much more comfortable to use. So let's look at each of the individual catheters we offer. First of all, the pediatric style are 10 inches long with the appropriate color coded funnel. This one happens to be an eight uh, because again it is an international color coding. The pediatric products do come with a no touch sleeve. For ladies, we have the female length catheter which doesn't have the sleeve and the reason being that we uh, felt like there wasn't enough room on the catheter to be able to hold the catheter and the sleeve and we thought the sleeve might just get in the way. So we offer this one without the sleeve, but again, as you watch the female video, you see how, how easy this catheter is to insert. For male users, we have a couple different options. The 16 inch long male catheter does come with the blue no touch sleeve. This is our firm option. We also make the exact same catheter in a softer variety. So if you have any uh, sensation as you catheterize, you may wish to try the soft variety as it is going to be more comfortable to insert, again with the blue no touch sleeve. And then finally, we offer the coude variety. This happens to be a 16, again the orange tip. And you see here the, the end of the catheter has a little bend on it. And that is designed to get the catheter past any strictures along the way or an enlarged prostate. All of our catheters, whether it be CUDE, pediatric, etc., all have rounded fire polished eyelets. So they're going to be less traumatic as the catheter passes through the urethra, less irritating. And all of our catheters are DEHP free. There isn't any of the DEHP carcinogen in any of our catheters. So now, let's talk about the correct use of MTG hydrophilic coated catheters. In order to use the catheter, what we're going to do is we're going to bend at the top where the water sachet is located and burst it open. And then you're going to unfold the package and slosh the package back and forth five or six times to make sure that the entire surface of the catheter is coated. And then we're going to wait 30 seconds for the coating to activate. While we're waiting 30 seconds for the catheter to hydrate, a little tip here is to remove the blue wrapper and use the sticky to adhere the catheter nearby where you're actually going to do the catheterization procedure. Hygiene is very important when you catheterize. Always remember to wash your hands and your genitalia prior to catheterization and afterwards. All right. So to catheterize with the MTG hydrophilic catheter, pull it out of the pouch using the blue no touch sleeve. Patients with enlarged prostate may be asked by their physician to use what's known as a coude tip catheter, which has a little bend on the end, as we've shown earlier in our, in our preliminary video. Uh, this particular catheter has a line on the funnel, and it's very important that if you're using a coude tip catheter, that during the entire procedure you actually can see that line as you insert the catheter. This line indicates that the tip of the coude, the curved tip catheter, is facing upward. So when the catheter reaches the prostate, it's more likely to go in. Okay, we're going to just draw the blue no-touch sleeve forward down the shaft of the catheter. And I'm going to reach back now, again right-handed. You can see the curve here. I'm going to insert the curve of the catheter in, get things started. I'm going to take my left hand now and go back and grasp the funnel. Scoot back about three inches and I'm going to start inserting the catheter. The orange funnel, by the way, indicates this is a 16 French catheter. We have international color coded French sizing. And once the catheter reaches the bladder, you're going to want to direct the fluid down into the toilet. You'll notice here that I always throughout the entire process kept that line facing upward. And 
Once urine flow is complete, again, I'm going to pull the catheter out about a half an inch, see if I have additional fluid. When I'm completely empty, I'm going to pull the catheter out as I did before and use the tissue to catch the eyes of the catheter so there's no spilling. Please remember that used catheters can be a potential biohazard. Please dispose of these using accepted medical practice. Thank you for watching our video today. If you'd like samples, please go to our website, medtechga.com, where you can get samples of our uncoated catheters, our hydrophilic catheters, and if you're having issues with recurrent urinary tract infections, you can request samples of our closed system intermittent catheters, which are designed to reduce the risk of UTIs.